Hey guys, and welcome back to the FFF HQ. We make a lot of cauliflower recipes around here. It's no joke, like my favorite cauliflower stuffing, which is linked above, but we've never actually talked about how to cook cauliflower. So today I'm gonna to teach you four different ways to cook cauliflower rice. So let's dive right on in. But before we can cook cauliflower, we actually have to make cauliflower rice. So let's get on it. We're no stranger to making cauliflower rice, so you already know what to do, but let's just recap. You want to cut that really thick and stocky stem off. Remove the leaves. Cut your cauliflower into big chunks. I usually cut around the outside and then go to the middle. And now we have our food processor. And put the cauliflower right on in. I'm gonna pop the lid on and pulse it until it's broken down and a rice-like. Cauliflower rice looks like rice and now we are ready to cook it. So way number one is we're gonna steam our cauliflower rice in the microwave. This is probably the easiest and quickest way to make cauliflower rice. Just wanna scoop as much cauliflower rice as you need into a microwave safe bowl and cover it with a lid, or I just use a microwave safe, a small plate. Now we're ready to go and microwave it. So put it in your microwave. A small batch is gonna cook in about five minutes. If you're using a really big bowl, you might need to stir after five and cook it for another five minutes. So way number two is almost exactly the same thing we just did in the microwave, but we're gonna use it in the oven for those of you that don't love the microwave. This way you yield a really tender, soft cauliflower rice and it's super easy to make. So this time we need an oven safe dish. And you guessed it, scoop your cauliflower rice right in there. Cover it with an oven safe lid. And we are ready to go and put it in the oven. So way number three, and we're gonna use the oven again, but now we're gonna roast it. This way yields a cauliflower that's golden brown and it's a little bit crispy and a little bit less tender. If your recipe calls for steamed cauliflower, I would not use this way because it is a different texture and it's a texture that I prefer more. So grab your cauliflower rice into a bowl again. You could probably do this with your eyes closed by now. And drizzle it with a little bit of high heat oil, such as avocado oil, which is what we're using here. I talked about avocado oil and the paleo sweetened chow chicken, which is linked above. Give it a stir. And then pour it onto a baking sheet. And spread it out in a nice thin layer. And we are ready to go and roast it. So we're gonna bake it in a 425 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes until it's nice and golden brown and crispy. If you have a less cauliflower, it may need a less cooking time and more, more cooking time. So way number four is my personal fave. You see me do it here all the time and that is to pan fry. It gives it lots more flavor. It gives it this golden brown crispy crunch that I love. It's similar to roasting the oven, but just a little bit more flavorful and a little bit crispy and it's super easy to do. So first things first, we're gonna grab our high heat oil, like again, avocado oil. Put a little bit in your medium size or large pan, depending on what you have, and heat it onto a medium high heat. Once that's nice and hot, you just wanna add that cauliflower rice right into it. You can hear that sizzle, sizzle action. And give it a good stir. The key is to use a really big or medium sized pan, depending on how much cauliflower you have, so you can get some space between it so it doesn't steam, but it gets nice and crispy. A couple minutes later, I've stirred it a little bit frequently. You can see it's nice and golden brown and tender. And this cauliflower rice is ready for business. So as you can see, microwave is a little bit pale. It doesn't have a lot of texture. It's kind of just soft. So it's usually the one that I go to the least. Oven steamed is kind of the same thing. It's pale, it doesn't have a lot of texture. It's easy to make, so I do go to these in a pinch, but typically I go to the more roasted and pan fried. Oven roasted, you can see, has the most color. It's gonna give you a lot of crunch. It does take a little bit more time than pan fried, but if you do want to avoid the pan, this is one of my favorite go-tos. So number four is pan fried, which is to me the champion of the cauliflower rice cooking game. It's less dark, it's a little bit more crispy as opposed to crunchy, and it's got that perfect golden color. This is my go-to cooking method. Four different ways to cook cauliflower rice. 
Which one would you choose? Please leave a comment below and let me know, or if there's a way that I missed, I'd also love to hear in the comment box. You can get the full recipe for all these ways to cook in the video description. I'd also really appreciate a like and a thumbs up of the video, and make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm delivering healthy and delicious gluten-free recipes to you, product reviews, health tips, you name it, I got it. So go enjoy your cauliflower rice and hope your cauliflower rice world has opened up and we will see you next time. Bye for now.